Hi, are you looking to improve your squash game? Well, if you are, stick around because today I'm going to give you my top three tips to improve your squash technique. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Samuel Collins. I'm the owner and founder of Cheeky Monkey Squash, based in Sydney and Wollongong in New South Wales, Australia. I've been a professional squash coach for about the last 10 to 15 years, coaching some of the best junior squash players Australia has to offer. So, what are my top three tips you ask? first step is put your non-dominant hand, so your non-swinging hand, in your pocket. What this does is it keeps that hand out of the swing zone. So what do I mean by swing zone? A swing's broken down into four steps. The first step is raising your racket up to become shoulder block. So your wrist is in line with your shoulder. Right? That's the back swing. Then we've got the forward swing. And the forward swing is from between there and in line with basically your back foot. Now between your back foot and just in front of your front foot, this is the connection zone. And that's when we're, where we're hitting the ball. And then it goes through to the opposite shoulder in the follow through. Now the reason we put our hand in our pocket is if we don't and our non-dominant hand's in the swing, we risk hitting our non-dominant hand, or we can allow that ball to come too close to us. So by putting the hand in the pocket, we train this hand to stay by our side, where it's gonna keep us more stable and keep the swing zone free of any obstacles. Tip number two, keep your head over the point of contact. What this does is it will help keep our shoulders square to the wall, enabling us to play a better drive. So what we want to do, step through, hit the ball, complete our swing, and listen for the contact on the front wall before stepping back. An issue a lot of players have is as they're swinging, they start to turn their head, which turns their shoulders towards the front wall. In turn, they spray their ball off the side wall or spray a cross court. So we're wanting to keep the head over the contact point throughout the entire swing. Tip number three, you want to give yourself room to swing. Uh, we, we touched on it a little bit in the last tip, but this one is on, on the swing, we want to have a full extension of our arm. Right? We don't want the ball in here. The best way I've found to do that is to use the back of the surface box as a gauge for where I need to stand. So I have one foot behind the box, one foot in front of the box. Allowing me to step through and swing without contacting on the wall. Thanks for hanging around. So, they're my three main tips to improve your squash technique. But since you've hung around to the end of the video, I'll give you one more. This is one we see a lot of amateur players do. They don't stop their feet, before they swing. So their momentum is still going forward whilst they're trying to swing, allowing that ball to get too close to the body. So remember, before you swing, you've got to have two points of contact on the ground to keep yourself stable. All right. So, as I said, 
Thanks for hanging around and watching the video. Now, if you want a free coaching session from myself or any of the members of the Cheeky Monkey Squash team, click the link below, fill out the form, and we'll be in contact shortly.